the Rockets' road to the number one seed actually doesn't sound that crazy. Still remember earlier in the season when the Rockets were like the 14th seed in the West and it looked like there was nothing on earth that they could do to get back into contention. But then James Harden went into MVP mode and lifted the Rockets back into contention. Now, when looking at the schedule the rest of the way between the Rocket, right now it's the Warriors and the Nuggets that are tied for the top seed in the NBA with the Rockets at the number three seed with three and a half games behind them. With 12 games left for the Rockets, 13 for the Warriors and the Nuggets. Seems like a steep climb. But for the Rockets, all they have to do is to tie the Warriors if the Warriors finish with the top seed. And they automatically get the first seed because the Rockets have the re record ahead of the Warriors. Now, that same goes with the Nuggets if the Rockets... I take that back. Okay, I, the Nuggets play the Warriors one more time. Okay, so the Rockets will not have a chance to... Um, no, I was right. The Rockets have a chance to play the Warriors one more time in these last uh, 12 games. And a win would seal the tiebreaker over the Nuggets and also bring the Nuggets... Um, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, pretty much a two game swing. Rockets get up on the Nuggets one game and the Nuggets lose a game. We're very important. Um, strength of schedule wise, the Rockets will face the Kings twice. They'll face New Orleans. Um, they will also face, um, New York and Phoenix in this. Um, but they do also have some heavy hitters in there in Oklahoma city that's fighting for playoff spots. Um, they've also got to play the Clippers and they're also going to play the Bucks, the number one team in the NBA overall. So it'll be interesting and, uh, and quite, quite an interesting feat for the Rockets if they can pull it off. Now the Nuggets and the Warriors will have to fight each other one more time, uh, down the stretch. So that'll be interesting. And, um, I imagine the Warriors will probably end up with a better record than the Nuggets. So if the Nuggets can get a win over the Warriors, it will even things out if the Rockets can keep winning. Now, schedule-wise, the Warriors will face, let's see, let's see how many, they'll face the Timberwolves twice. Yeesh. They're not really facing too many heavy hitters, and that's the unfortunate part. But it might be good because the Warriors might... Uh, be a little bit lethargic for some of those games. So really the, the best games that they're going to play uh, down the rest of this stretch or the teams with the best record are going to be the Clippers, uh, the Nuggets, and that's about it. That's about it. And that's unfortunate. The Nuggets are going to get a cake schedule the rest of the way. Um, not the Nuggets, the Warriors, excuse me. Um, the Nuggets down the stretch, they have a much more difficult test. They've got to face... Um, San Antonio, Golden State, Oklahoma City, the Rockets, plus they've got to face Portland twice, and the Jazz. So the Nuggets will probably not end up being the number one seed, and more than likely they could end up being the three seed as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the Rockets and these three teams will do down the stretch. But, folks... Given how we started the season, I don't know why I said we, given how the Rockets started the season, they are dangerously close, dangerously close to a number one seed. And if that's not case for the MVP for James Harden in this season, I don't know what is. James Harden has been amazing, and now the team is starting to come around, get around him all together. It's beautiful, baby.